From fresh sanctions on Russia's largest banks to a possible European ban on Russian coal, the West's latest moves aim to further punish Moscow for atrocities committed in Ukraine. There's nothing less happening than major war crimes. Responsible nations have to come together to hold these perpetrators accountable. For the first time, the U.S. is leveling direct sanctions on Vladimir Putin's adult daughters, believed to be hiding Putin's personal assets. The U.S. Department of Justice announced direct prosecutions of Russian oligarchs, capturing a $100 million yacht belonging to one of them. The Justice Department will use every available tool to find you, disrupt your plots, and hold you accountable. None of it has disrupted Russia's war in Ukraine. Sanctions remain reactionary. NATO leaders are wary of doing anything that might hurt their own economies. These sanctions will not be our last sanctions. Europe's top diplomat called out the contradiction, noting since the war began, Europe has given Ukraine 1 billion euros in aid while still spending 35 billion euros on Russian oil and gas. Putin is able to fund this war through the energy that has been sold to us and has unfortunately has been doing this for many years now. The EU has vowed to wean itself off those supplies. It may be forced to act sooner than expected. The West may also need to consider secondary measures against countries like China and India who continue to trade with Russia. Moves with serious risks. If the sanctions go this far and it pushes Putin into a more desperate situation, we have to ask, what's next? Is he going to retaliate on the battlefield? It is possible that, that Russia will resort to the use of tactical nuclear weapons, chemical weapons, other sorts of very powerful weapons. The emerging horrors may leave no other choice but to take further steps. For Ukraine, the price of inaction is already too high. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.